Hi, I'm Paul Brody and this is my shop. Welcome. We have a project today. We're going to make a seat collar that holds a seat post. It stops it sliding up and down in the seat tube. So we're going to start out using a piece of metal. What I did, I had this piece of metal and I cut off a section and this is the same thickness as the seat collar. So that helps me in my first step. So first step is to go over to the lathe and we're gonna use a center drill, small drill, and then a large drill, and then a boring bar. Let's go to the lathe. Here's my piece of metal and it's not very thick. So if I put it into the chuck, it could be at a slight angle. So I have a little trick. I take a plate and the plate goes against each of the three jaws and I hold my piece of metal against the plate so, so that when I tighten the chuck, it'll spin true. So I'm gonna use three different drills here. I got a center drill, a quarter inch drill, and then I got my, my large drill and I have to slow the lathe down for the large drill. I'm going to use a, a small boring bar here. Put that in like that. We've got 114 thou to take off. You see how, how there's a step and the, and, the, and the step has to be a certain depth. So if I set up the dial indicator and I move this dial here, I can, when that needle comes to zero, I know that I got the right depth. I'm gonna call that okay. It's a little big, but if I paint or whoever has the bike, if they put some paint on it, that'll be fine. I'm going to take off the burr now. If I put the clamp on top and I outline it, then you can see what has to come off. So there, you can see that's the basic shape we need to aim for. We have a seat post clamp and, and now we need to hold it for in the mill. So what I've made up here is, is an arbor and this is, is machined to the right size as the ID here, inside diameter. See how it fits on quite nicely. And then there's a cap, just hold, held on with a six millimeter Allen screw. And so now I can, I can put that in the mill and it's held really securely, no problem. What you're looking at is a rotary table. It's a, a, a chuck and it's mounted on, on the rotary table here. And when I turn this, and I can go either way, it, it, it turns and I've got all of, all of my degrees here. I got the minutes here, so I can be really, really accurate. I'm gonna set this to zero now. So that's my zero right there. That's going to get mounted like that. I'm going to use a very small end mill. It's a quarter inch end mill. It's got a ball nose and the ball nose is going to be used for the side when we make the little radius in there. That goes up into the mill, make it tight up on top. I want to show you something first though. I was practicing yesterday and I had to transition because on, on this line here, I'm moving in the x-axis 
and then when I do the radius, that's when I use the I use the rotary table. Well, I had to transition from this handle over to this dial, and I grabbed the wrong lever. I was supposed to go clockwise, and I did go clockwise. I made a mistake. See that? I heard about a guy that never makes mistakes. He didn't do anything, but he never made mistakes. If you if you do stuff, if you have projects, if you make things, you're gonna make mistakes. That's how we learn. So I made a mistake. So I'm gonna start at 170. So there's my 10 degrees coming up. There I'm doing the final cut now, and you, and you notice that the end mill is going the other way now. It's called climb milling, and it makes a smoother finish. So the last operation is to face off the end. So I'll, I'll set the rotary table at zero degrees and then I'll, I'll bring the mill around and I'll face it off. Zero, perfect. Okay, so what I have to do now, I have to do some op operations on the side. So I need to undo the rotary table and I need to flip it up on end. And then I bolt it back down, I zero off, off coordinates and then we're on to the next stage. I should see equal space on all three sides. I need to make, make room for the head of the Allen screw. So I use a regular drill. So I need a good chamfer so that this starts because you see this, it looks like it's flat, but it's at an angle of 10 degrees. And if I start to drill, it wants to make the drill wander. It wants to push the drill this way. So I need to start this drill. It's got to go straight. And then I take out that drill. Can you see how it faced off this one? It's pretty flat. So that makes a good flat spot for where the head seats against. I got a five mil drill and that's for the five mil allen screw. And then I, I got a tap drill, it's actually 4.2 millimeters. So I'm gonna drill this one all the way through. And then this one is gonna go down halfway, that's all. Okay, that's going to work. It looks like about the same height there. Our next operation then is to, is to put the radius as it goes around, around the seat column. It makes it a little bit lighter, but it's definitely cooler. It's not making it any stronger. Back down. So you can see I've got a, a little groove happening there. 
I took a larger cut so it's a little bit rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'll spin it round again and I'll, I'll do the whole thing over again and I'll only take a 5 thou cut. It's gonna make the groove just a little bit smoother there. So if you look closely now, you can see how the groove is nice and smooth. That actually it turned out quite nicely. Okay, so what's next is to make a slot right down the middle. This is round from here to here, so if I put this on here, when that lines up with that mark, I know the center of the seat post clamp. I got a little a little burr right there. Can you see that? See how my thumbnail hits it? So we'll just go over to the drill press. I restored it. I bought the drill press in 1983. In 1990, I added the variable speed. See that? Pretty good, right? Never have to change the belt. So all I need to do is take off that burr. There you go. That's all. So I got a little bit of hand filing now to do, take off the burrs, so we'll go over and do that now. I got a little, a little burr on the inside, so I'll use a scraper. I'm just gonna go around the inside there. And you can see the little bit of schwarf coming off, can you? Can you see that, that little chip? There you go. So I'll take a little file and just make a tiny little shape for all around here. I have to make a thread. I've got a 5 mil tap. This is anchor lube. It's a, a tapping compound. It works well on the lube. So you put a little bit on each side. In the old days, I was taught how to tap, and you go maybe half a turn, then you go back, and you do a bit more, and you go back. That's because you have to break off the off the chips. On these new taps, it's a spiral point tap. It drives all the chips down. Here, I'm gonna show you. See how all, all the chips are, are, are being driven right through the bottom? So that means that once I start to tap, I don't have to stop. I can just keep on going. So it speeds up the tapping a lot. There you go. And we've got a, a good thread. So we're basically done. What I gotta do now is just to give it a little bit of a polish. That's the final touch. One seat post collar finished. Thank you very much for watching our video. It's been a pleasure. Hope you join us again.